The illegal use of unregistered trail bikes has been a long-standing issue at Windale, and now residents say they're at breaking point. Brave enough to speak out about their concerns tonight, they're calling on authorities to take action. Unregistered and wearing no helmet. It's a scene Windale residents say they're dealing with all day and night. Oh, I can't sleep because of it, because it's too loud. I'm speaking out for the community, on behalf of the community, because we have a minority of bike riders on the streets who are causing the community trouble. 60-year-old Darren Yates has lived in the suburb for more than 50 years. He says the problem has never been this bad and that many are too afraid to speak out. I've had these youngins come here and intimidate and threaten to cut my throat and smash my property up and that. These women don't want their faces shown, but do want their message heard, and it's taking a toll. Waking up too many, a uh, few times at night, and it really affects her and affect us, and I'm pretty sure affect the rest of the community around here because they're really, really loud, and actually it's scary even to confront them. New South Wales police declined to be interviewed today, instead telling NBN News they did not pursue any motorcycles in the area overnight. But residents say they want officers to ramp up patrols. Same as our state members, there's nothing here for these youngins. If they had facilities here, you'd have less issues here. And this is a good community. This is a bonded community here. Police say they're working with the community and encouraging people to help identify those responsible. And the state government has also acknowledged the problem but didn't provide any solutions. This is a forgotten postcode. This has been going on for over five years in this community. Tony Ambrogetti, NBN News. Stage one of renourishing Stockton Beach is now complete. An extra 30,000 cubic metres of sand dredged and placed on the beach since work commenced in October. The next step for the state government is to release a blueprint for its $21 million long-term solution. There are concerns for marine life at one of Lake Macquarie's most popular attractions, the Belmont Wetlands. Residents fear a temporary rock platform built for the Fernley Track extension could have dire effects on the ecosystem. Tucked away between Lake Macquarie and Belmont Lagoon, Colte Creek is home to a host of wildlife. It is part of the Belmont Wetlands area. Well, there's a lot of diverse species up in here. But residents are up in arms about a newly constructed rock platform. We need the flow to be maintained. We need to have a run-out tide situation where water from the wetland exits back into the lake and then on the incoming tide we get that water replenished with oxygenated water to come back in the system. The platform was first laid by Lake Macquarie Council contractors more than a week ago in order to build a bridge for the northern section of the Fernley Track with three 225 millimetre pipes inserted for water flow. Oh, yes. The blockades are said to be in place for another three weeks while construction gets underway for the bridge. But residents fear that's too long and could spell disaster for marine life. The water can't escape through the piping that's here at the present moment and all of a sudden we have the imminent risk of a fish kill. Now, it hasn't been there for three weeks, over three weeks. Did you want it that? In a statement to NBN News, a Lake Macquarie Council spokesperson said the temporary rock platform will only be in place for the minimum time required. Also adding it's liaising with the Department of Primary Industries Fisheries during the construction, testing water quality every two days. Montana Clare, NBN News. The festive season is well and truly on its way. Mr and Mrs Claus have made the trip from the North Pole, touching down at Westfield, Katara this morning. We all know the naughty ones, but most of the children here today have been extremely well, well behaved. Mums and dads have been well behaved as well. And we all know if you're well behaved, you get a lot of stuff at Christmas. And we'll see where else Santa visited on his journey a little later in our bulletin. Looking at the weather in the Hunter today, hot and sunny with strong northwesterly winds. A top of 22 degrees at Nobby's today, 38 the top at Singleton.